Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to draw an ellipse by directric focus method, also called general method. Construct an ellipse where the distance of focus from directrix is 50 mm and eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3. See here in this example, data given is first the distance of focus from directrix is 50 mm and the second data is eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 so let's start to solve this example first of all draw one directrix directrix is one vertical line and this simple line is called directrix from center there is one horizontal line called axis so this line is called directrix and this line it's called axis this point you can say a this point is b this point is c now in example they said that the focus point is 50 mm from directrix so from this directrix focus point is on 50 mm focus point is on axis so simple mark one point on 50 mm and name this point as a focus point so this is your focus point this is your c point so the vertex point is in between focus and c point so in between this two there is the vertex point then how to find out the vertex point so for that eccentricity is required eccentricity e is equal to vf upon vc and in data they said that eccentricity is equal to 2 by 3 means which is equal to vf upon vc so the v point is always in between the focus point and this center point so for that simple just at this point 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 so that we are going to divide this distance into equal five part any other example eccentricity it suppose 3 by 5 then vf are the three portions and vc are the five portion so we 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 then we have to divide c to f into equal 8 part so this is the use of eccentricity in this example so in this example eccentricity is 2 by 3 which is equal to 5 so simple we are going to divide this points into equal 5 part so simple this distance is 50 mm so mark the points on each 10 mm no need to give any name for this point because this is only used to mark the vertex point now this points are the five points are there and as the eccentricity said that vf are the two portions and vc are the three portions so that the vertex point is here say the vertex point is here so the vf are the two portions and vc are the three portions the next step is to draw vertical line from vertex draw one small vertical line from vertex always remember that vertical line from vertex then take the compass v as a center f as a distance and mark one curve it intersect the vertical line and name this point where this arc intersect the vertical line is point e then join c to e then join c to e and extend this line join this points and extend this line 
For the ellipse, we required the number of points to complete the smooth ellipse. For that, from vertex, from vertex, take a few points at equal distance. So from vertex, take a points on equal distance. So take mostly the 10 mm distance because it is easy to plot. So this is the first point. The second point is on focus point. Give the name for each point. One, two point is on focus, so it's okay. So I'll give the name here. Two, you can take 12 to 13 point. Now, next step is to draw a vertical line from all these points. Vertical lines from all these points. Just take care that this vertical line should parallel to the directrix. So draw the vertical line and extend it on downside also. Vertical line parallel to directrix. Then from 2, draw one vertical line. Then from 3, And give the name of this all points which is at this top side and say one dash here is the one so here is the one dash here is the two so here is the two dash now simply take the compass now we are going to mark the arcs ellipse is passing through that point so take the compass now the step is very important take the distance 1 to 1 dash take the distance 1 to 1 dash F as a center F as a center and mark the arcs that respective line on that respective line one is on upside one is on downside see the arc one is on upside one is on downside I will repeat take the distance 1 to 1 dash F as a center one arc is on upside, one arc is on downside on that respective one to one dash line. The center as F and distance one to one dash, then two to two dash, three to three dash, four to four dash and so on. So let's start. Then next, take the distance two to two dash now F as a center, so F is here only. So the one arc is on upside and one arc is on downside. One arc is on upside, one arc is on downside. Now take the distance, three to three dash. F as a center, one arc is on upside, one arc is on downside. Continue the process, four to four dash. F as a center, one arc is on upside, one arc is on downside. Well, point, it is not cut there, so that I will not take this point because it is not cut that line. So I will stop here at 11 number point. Maybe your point is on 12 number. Now, these all are your point of ellipse. So from these points, ellipse is passing through all these points. So start to join these points step by step. The curve should be a smooth curve. So draw the curve from vertex, then vertex to 1, then 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, Name for the all points, say point number one, point number two,
and this is called the ellipse by directrix and focus method 